And what I remember most about that night was the pressure. Before the show, I had to run out there on the avenue and hand out tickets to anybody who would take them because I couldn't even fill the fucking room. Boy, what a difference. 24 short years makes. Bravo. And right before that time, my father had died. He never lived to see me do it. And when he died, I was inconsolable. I thought I'd never smile or laugh again. And the only thing that got me out of that space was a comedian friend of mine, the late, great Norm MacDonald. No. That's right. Shout out to Norm. And what Norm did, which I'll never forget, is he knew that I was the biggest Jim Carrey fan in the world. Now, I'm not going to go all into it, but Jim Carrey is talented in a way that you can't practice or rehearse. What a God-given talent. I was fascinated with him. And Norm knew that. And he called me up and he goes, Dave, um, he says, I'm doing a movie with Jim Carrey. Um, do you want to meet him? And I said, fuck, yes, I do. And it was the first time I could remember since my father died being excited. In the movie... It's called Man on the Moon. I didn't know any of this. Mm -hmm. And in this movie, Jim Carrey was playing another comedian I admired, the late, great Andy Kaufman. Yes, and Jim Carrey was so immersed in that role that from the moment he woke up to the time he went to bed at night, he would live his life as Andy Kaufman. I didn't know that. When they said cut, this nigga was still <laughs> Andy Kaufman. So much so that everybody on the crew called him Andy. I didn't know any of that. I just went there to meet him. And when he walked into the room where we were supposed to meet, I screamed, Jim Carrey. And everyone said, no. <laughs> Call him Andy. And I didn't understand. And then he came over and he was acting weird. I didn't know he was acting like Andy Kaufman. He's just like, hey, how you doing? And I was like, hello. <laughs> Andy? Now, in hindsight, how fucking lucky am I that I got to see one of the greatest artists of my time immersed in one of his most challenging processes ever. Very lucky to have seen that. But as it was happening, <laughs> I was very disappointed. Because <laughs> I wanted to meet Jim Carrey and I had to pretend this nigga was Andy Kaufman <laughs> all afternoon. And he was clearly Jim Carrey. I could look at him and I could see he was Jim Carrey. Anyway, I say all that to say, that's how trans people make me feel. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that coming. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Chappelle... You know, I was thinking the other day about Dave Chappelle. It's hilarious. Who's funnier than Chappelle? Nobody. And uh, I was thinking to myself, it's like, it's not fair how funny he is. Because, uh, like, Key and Peel do these really smart, clever, funny sketches that are really good satire. And they make fun of kind of deep cuts and obscure humor. And it's so smart. And then, uh, you know... Chappelle puts on like a Jerry Curl wig and talks about your couch or whatever and it's just the funniest thing ever. Like he's funnier than he deserves to be, but he's hilarious. That was really good. <laughs>